Welcome back. Well, right now there's over 140,000 folks living with Alzheimer's disease in the state of Georgia, about 15,000 right here in Bibb County. That's according to the Alzheimer's Association. Caregivers can face a daily battle of their loved ones wandering off. Our Suzanne Lawler shows you there are a couple of inexpensive and easy tips that the Alzheimer's Association says will help keep your family members safe. During the holidays, the person with the disease, their norms off and their space is invaded because people put up Christmas trees and they put up their decorations and somebody with dementia is claustrophobic. So they try to escape that noise and get away from it. So they wander out the door. Mott Smith is with the Alzheimer's Association in Macon. She says folks with this disease don't sit still. Over 70% of them wonder. And if they wonder once, then they're going to wonder again. But there are a couple of simple things you can do to stop that. You put that in front of the door and they won't step on it. So the idea is that they have a problem with spatial things figuring out where things are in space. Dr. Harry Smothers is a family practitioner caring for more than 200 dementia or Alzheimer's patients. And to a lot of people with especially moderate to advanced dementia, it just looks like a hole. A black mat seems like a pretty easy idea, but there are some logistical things to keep in mind. Don't keep the mat down 24 hours a day or just leave it there for days on end. Second of all, don't walk across the mat yourself or else your Alzheimer's patient will think they can do it too. But the other thing that, that works real well is putting a stop sign on the door. The stop sign in their brain, because they have been trained since they were small, to stop, their brain tells them to stop. So they stop and they turn around. Well, another trick that people do is instead of painting a door frame and a door a different color, they will paint it the same color as the wall. The Alzheimer's Association has a lot of resources and tips if your loved one is newly diagnosed. Suzanne Lawler, 13 WMAZ News. Smith says you can print a stop sign off the internet or buy one at the store. Another tip is to take your loved one out on a walk every day. Just like the rest of us, they need to burn off energy.